This next tree is a little bit of a mop-up operation. I'm not the first guy to cut on this tree. Like, like you'll see, someone else just did some serious hacking on this guy. And then I think, at least from what I see in like the, the fossil record of the tree, it looks to me like that person kind of hit the limit of what they could do. So they, you know, they kind of chopped off the low stuff and left the high stuff for me. When I hope I have work again when this all blows over. And here is your tree. Uh, looking kind of like dogwood to me up top. We'll have to see when we take it down. But uh, this is the previous kind of work. You know, a little chop here, a little there, and then this big guy, creatively kind of done. Also looks like it had some breakage here. So not looking super sound. I think I'm gonna avoid climbing it and um, just take it down with my pole saw. Right, so that's like the tall hanging stuff down and I should be able to just drop this guy here. You can maybe see it on this guy. I'm kind of like splitting the difference. So it really kind of wants to go toward the car. <laughs> so I'm just trying to put it right over there. So just moving it a few inches over. a nice little look at the hinge wood kind of holding and folding This thing's supposed to go to 80 PSI, so we'll see how far we get. Okay, flat tire on the trailer fixed, kind of. And uh, off to the next job, which is a, it's kind of like a trimming pruning situation. Big old white pine that's rubbing on the house and it's kind of knocked off the chimney cap. So just gotta go up there and take out a few branches. Now it's very safe to come get care, but I think that it's all- Double park blocking the road over there. And then this is the pine and uh, limbs up there on the chimney, kind of hitting the house and stuff. And uh, branch is low enough that I can just uh, free climb it. And if you're thinking to yourself, what's a good tree to climb? Climb a pine, man. 
tons of handholds, footholds. Like it's almost like a ladder going on up, and uh, easy to tie into. All right, so I'm on the limb. I'll show you that. This is the limb that is hitting the chimney, and uh, you know I'm tied up and stuff, so don't worry about it. But uh, this little matrix of web-like lines and everything this is my customary solo rigging setup so a uh, carabiner here uh, this limb i'm going to chop it it's going to come over this way and i can lower it down over this limb here to the right okay that guy is down uh lowered tossed over yonder i think i really only need to nip um this one here this guy is kind of like on the roof and then that one there, which is kind of just tapping the gutter. The trailer tires still got air. I don't know what's going on with that, but something's working out today. So this is like one of the bigger tree services in this area doing uh, power line work. You know, clearing the trees along the power lines. Okay, so here's your tree. I taped it just the other day, so I remembered which one it was. And apparently half dead. Not quite totally dead, but on the way out. All right, so I've got it sort of pruned up so it doesn't hit the uh, spruce here. And I'm just gonna drop it. The only thing that made that just a little bit tight was just my electrical stuff here. TV box and cable. I don't know if anyone uses the TV box anymore, but. So uh, with that, it's just a unadulterated clear view of the fields. Smaller tree, but it still fills up the trailer. All right, thanks for checking out the tree jobs. Like a bunch of different tree jobs. And it probably should be mentioned that this is not like a how-to video. I'm not saying like these are the steps you follow to get it done. Instead, it's just the story of how I did it and I appreciate you checking it out. Somebody was sacking out in the sun. Look at this, sleepy, sleepy dog.